with y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give y'all some insight on some of the things that I do back home. The job is never done when you, you know, on home time as an owner operator. There's still things that you need to get done. It's still stuff that you got to do within the company. Like, you never stop being an owner operator, man. So, we're at Walmart. Uh, grab a few bottles of Diesel Clean. Grab two bottles of this. And, uh... I also need to grab something for to clean my tanks with. Uh, I know Greg probably got some at the shop, so I'm gonna tell him to put some of that stuff in the tank. So to clean the tanks and get all of that stuff up out of there. Cause I just fueled up anyway, coming back home, so. Uh-oh, come on now. Wow, they ain't got no mobile deal back. That's crazy. No mobile deal back. Look like people done got here before me and got it. So let's try to see if we can find some, y'all. So we was able to land a five gallon mobile deal back. 74 dollars for $69 in Texas. So we made over to the yard. Got the carrier parts. Uh, got the diesel clean over there, the air filters, fuel filters, oil filters. Got the five gallon bucket of oil. And uh, working on a trailer right now, getting the lights together. And uh, we're using some different wire, so it's a solid wire, like super solid, y'all. It's not like this, where you know it's all 12 gauge high amperage wire. 12 gauge high amperage wire. There you go. So. Yeah. So we looming everything through right now. Now we should be good. So we getting this taken care of, y'all. Like I told y'all, we're gonna get the lights right. My boy said, man, 10, 15 years, man, you should be good. If anything, it'll probably be the, the issue with the light by itself rather than the wire. So we should be good, y'all. We getting it done, we getting it done. All right, y'all. So we are about to do a service on a reefer. I got a few things that I use. So in order to drain my oil, I use a 22, I think it's a 22 meter, 22 millimeter socket, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 22 millimeter socket. It's not a deep socket, but I use a 22 millimeter socket. For my fuel inlet screen, I use a, I'm gonna say an 18 millimeter, 19 millimeter. So I use a 19 millimeter for my fuel inlet screen. And I don't always change my fuel inlet screen. Sometimes, you know, it'd be good. There's nothing in there clogged up. I usually hit it with brake cleaner and just clean it all the way up. And you know, you can pretty much reuse it. But I do got another one just in case I have problems on a road or something may be clogged up in there that's, you know, stopping me from, you know, having, you know, basically stopping me from starting the, the, the engine you know something may be clogging that up so i definitely keep an extra one uh, you got your oil filter right here and uh you got your fuel filter up there and you have your air filter right there you got your battery right there and starter alternator over there but far as a pm far as just a, a regular service on the on the unit Pretty much just check over the unit, make sure you have no leaks, check over all your belts, make sure they're not, you know, ripped or corroded, dry rotted, and uh, pretty much changing the oil, changing the oil filter, changing the fuel filter, changing the air filter, checking your battery, checking your alternator, make sure everything is charging, make sure you, you know, you got the right volts and everything like that, running a pre-trip on it, letting it run through, letting everything cycle through. Uh, now with my fuel filter, you see this y'all this is a old this is pretty much a one of them 1975 ladders that uh my girl mom mom dukes kept for a long time so i can't get the grip that i want to get when it comes to you know getting up here 
and uh removing the oh come on removing the fuel filter so you know i get up in here pretty much i can get up in here but i can't get i can't get the the a nice grip to where i can turn it and the thing about this fuel filter is i noticed is every time i put it on and i put a hand tight it seems to seal itself you know after a while just seals itself real real tight and uh i put lube grease on it before you know putting it on there we put it hand tight and I can't really get the grip that I want to because of this ladder. And also, you know, I need one of those hand ones, the hand grippers where you can grip onto it and turn it and use this. So with my fuel filter, it's it's simple to change out, but with, in my case, I can't change it just cause, you know, I don't want to break the housing and, uh, you know, pulling on it and pushing on it and stuff like that if I can't get it. Uh, it's super easy to change if you can get a good grip on it But in my case, I got a older ladder and I can't get the grip that I want to get on it Oil filter I can get pretty easily and uh, everything else I can get so when I go to the trailer shop To get my inspection done. I just have them take it off. They don't charge me nothing and uh, They put the new fuel filter on for me and uh, They can get a, a much better grip because they got a better ladder and they actually got the hand filter pliers i think they hand filter pliers i have the filter wrench these are the parts for a 7500 x4 carrier unit this is the part number for the air filter and i'll let y'all see what that look like and this service usually takes me about 45 minutes y'all it's an air filter all of this would be dirty you know pretty clean one so this is the air filter this is the fuel filter number part number right here and, uh, you know before you screw it on you want to lube that up with fuel or lube i would say do it with lube because i don't know i don't know what's up with mine i gotta do this every time y'all oil filter it's the same way with the oil filter, but I can get a much, much better grip with my oil filter. So you can lube this up with grease too, or oil, however you want to do it. Hand tight y'all with maybe like a, maybe maybe a nice turn or so with the filter wrench and you're pretty much good. You know, as long as you're not leaking, it'll pretty much, you know, seal itself, you know, as you go, as the engine run and stuff like that. So, uh, Let's get to the service, y'all. So I'm gonna Check. check the fuel inlet screen real quick. I have a little bit of fuel coming out of there. Should be a washer. Yeah, washer right there. Pretty much clean. Don't see nothing up in there. Screw it back on. That's more than enough, y'all, right there. There we go. 
gonna come out quick, y'all. There we go. That's how I was supposed to have it. And just drain it, y'all. Just drain. Get you one of these five gallon buckets from like O'Reilly's or Harbor Freight, something like that, and you'll be good to go. So let's get this drained, y'all, and uh, we get back with y'all once we get this done. Catch all that oil. Be careful. I'm screwing it. You don't want to get no plastic down there. <laughs> Just to make sure we good. <clears throat> Pre-fill, y'all. I go about half. For the guys that, you know, you just don't know or you, you know, you haven't kept up with your service, you could just put the hours on there that you need to change it or the hours that you did change it, you can do that. So, that's enough. That's enough right there, y'all. here right up on the actual housing turn it a few times don't don't want to push it in too one more we pretty much be done okay that's good that's good y'all
get the air filter out. Just turn, pull. See, it's dirty. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Inside clean. I need another one of these. I'm gonna see if I can get another one from Carrier. There we go. So we're good on that. All we gotta do is get the fuel filter out. Got no oil in there. I see it. Hi, huh, baby. You gonna get her car out? No. All right. I just gotta put this oil in. I'm done. Nah, I just got that. Yeah, she got the same one. All right, y'all. We just filling her on up, getting that fresh oil up in her. Want to get to that safe mark? That safe mark is where we want to get to, y'all. Let's keep going. That should do it. Let's see. Yes, sir. So, all right, then. There we go, y'all. A little bit over safe. So, let's close this up. about getting the job done you got people that you know use clean everything but you know i try to stay as clean as possible too but it don't sometimes work out that way but fire in the hole oh yeah make sure we ain't got no leaks or nothing that compressor oil right there if you ever look at your compressor oil and it look minimum, that's where it's supposed to be, y'all. Trust me. That's where it's supposed to be. As long as you got a little bit, you can see it through that sight. You see a little bit flapping up and down, you're good to go. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole.
and then uh, we'll get back with y'all once we clean all this up. Family just did the pre-trip on the unit. Everything is good. Everything was completed and passed. Now we're about to take it down to the trailer shop. We're gonna get an inspection. And uh, what else we're gonna get? We're gonna get that fuel filter change. And uh, since we got our bottom row taken care of, uh, our top row is good, but I'm gonna have them check those those three in the back that's dim and I got one on the other side that's kind of flickering. So I know that's a connection thing. So I'm gonna have them take care of that, but let's go get this thing dropped and uh, I'm gonna have them check over everything, make sure everything is good to go. So, and I'm gonna do the grease job. So we're pretty much good to go on the trailer. And then we about to go ahead and drop the truck off down to uh, Greg's. Let's go. So we dropping the trailer right now, getting the drop. Get the trailer worked out tomorrow, y'all. Let's get on down to the shop to get our truck dropped off. Family, we got the truck dropped off up here at the shop Sunday. So uh, they're going to come in early in the morning. And we're going to get her together. So now I got to get back home and uh, do IPTA, do taxes, and get that stuff out the way too. So y'all, it never stop. Being an owner operator never stops, y'all. You want to come on this side of the steering wheel, have your own authority. Just know it never stops. So let's get on home, get all that stuff done. And uh, we're going to keep this video, we're going to keep it going as far as picking the trailer up and picking the truck up and showing y'all everything that we had done. All right, y'all. So my family got me doing this solar eclipse thing, man. We got the glasses and everything. We rushing down to her mom's house so we can see it with the family. Yeah, see I'm going to make sure I get it on uh, on, on video for y'all, man. This is, I guess it's like a thing that happened, what, every like 80 years or something like that? I don't know, y'all, but it's some type of history thing. So I'm like, man, let me just go ahead and get it on the channel, man, so you guys can see it. For the people that's not in the area, I guess it came up out of Texas, going through Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, and it's going to come up through uh, Ohio, up to Buffalo, New York, something like that. So for the people that can't see it, I'm going to make sure I get it on camera for you guys. I guess it's kind of neat. Y'all know I ain't into none of this stuff, so, you know. But we're going to get it on camera. We're about to get on down here. We're going to get the solar eclipse on on camera for you guys let's go all right y'all it's getting a little bit more darker now man it's getting a little bit more darker now it is uh 307 p.m y'all and uh at 309 it should be completely dark 309 p.m y'all it's crazy it is 309 y'all 309 Look at it. This is crazy. Look at it, y'all. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it, y'all. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy, y'all. The moon is covering up the sun. Wow. It's completely dark. <laughs> I got see it, y'all. It's 3:10 p.m. All right, y'all. Good morning. Day after the solar eclipse, but uh, like I say, this owner operator stuff never stops. It's always something to do. We are actually headed down here to Columbus right now, about 60 miles away from my house. Uh, headed down here to Columbus. We're gonna pick up our if the stickers, our replacement if the stickers, because as y'all know, one of them blew off, so I definitely gotta get that replaced. I had a temporary if the sticker come in, as far as in my email, but they said I could come on down and pick up my, I think I got two replacement decals, two sets. So this set happened to just, you know, go off or get scratched up, wherever the case may be. I got another set, so I ain't got nothing to worry about on that. And then uh, we finished up our taxes. Uh, I'm actually about to go to the bank just to make sure my deposits are right for 2023 as far as the revenue. Just wanna make sure, even though I keep everything in, in QuickBooks, I just wanna make sure everything matches up and I'm putting out the, the right revenue on my paperwork. So we got that together. I still gotta do my IPTA, but uh, I end up not cutting my IPTA off March 31st, so I added a few more miles, so I gotta subtract that, look at my logs, subtract those miles from uh, back until the 31st, and make sure I'm putting the right miles down, so I gotta do the IPTA, 
Just got a call that the trailer is ready. I just had the trailer inspected, making sure everything was good. Uh, I had them do a few things on the inside. Uh, check my lights on the top, because I know I had a few lights that was pretty dim. So, check my top lights. And uh, I did the service. They actually took the fuel filter out, put my new one on for me. So, we are good on the reefer. And uh, the truck is still in the shop right now. And uh, having all of that stuff done. I'll probably get that on Thursday. It's only Tuesday, so uh, just trying to knock everything down so you know by Wednesday or Thursday I can pretty much chill, chill out for the rest of those days. I don't have to worry about nothing else. But pretty much got everything taken care of for us to get back on the road. We already got a load. We're going out to Minnesota. So let's get on down here to Columbus, grab these if the stickers, and get our buck back on back to the house. Uh, I got to do my personal taxes too from last year when I worked two months for Bar None, then YouTube, and then uh, when uh, when I was at Maverick too, doing flatbed too. So it's not a lot of money. I think it's only like maybe twenty thousand, maybe thirty thousand uh, dollars. So uh, got to get that taken care of too. So never stops, y'all. Especially being an owner operator, never get lax. It's always something to do. You know, when you go home, you can't really kick your feet up because you know you got to make sure everything is prepared for you to get back on the road. You're gonna spend money. You know, it's part of the game. It's part of making money. You got to spend money to make money, y'all. So let's get on down to Columbus, y'all. Grab these hit the stickers. All right, y'all. We made it up here. Let's go ahead and get our April taxes. Let's see if I gotta go through a check or something like that. We'll see. Alright child, we're good to go. We got it all taken care of. Uh shoot. 15 minutes. Got my decals rather than waiting two weeks for y'all. So So we about to head back to the house and I got a set of two, y'all. Got a set of two. So I'm happy about that. So if these happen to go bad, I got another set. I didn't want to have to come down here again for 24 or so. We should be good to go. We're going to get them old ones off and uh, with that old one off and put these uh, these two new ones on. So let's get back to the house. About to head to the bank and uh, get my deposits for 2023. Make sure my revenue match up with what I got in my QuickBooks. And then uh, I'll chill out for the rest of the day. Start editing some videos up. Get videos out this week. So uh, let's head back to the house, y'all. All right, y'all. Good morning just got our taxes turned in we got everything turned in she said more than likely i'm gonna be on extension really don't know what that means but she said i should be good soon though but i meet the deadline april 15 i don't know what extension means i don't know if she's extending my taxes out from a longer period of getting fouled or something like that more or less i'm sure she know how to do all of that but she said basically my expenses lines up with my my revenue for 2023 so more than likely, I'm thinking I won't have any taxes. And I'm happy I do what I do as far as with uh, keeping my truck up, keeping my equipment up, and doing what I do with my equipment and the expenses that I had. 2023 was, uh, was a learning year for me. And um, the revenue basically matched up with my expenses which is okay you know basically in the negative so hopefully i don't own anything and uh yeah but 2024 we definitely having a much much better year uh and um i'm actually gonna pay myself this year i didn't pay myself last year last year we was just trying to grow the business and everything was just going straight to the business at that time i didn't need to earn we're trying to put the business in a, a better position first and then, you know, I can come. Maybe I can start paying myself this year. I haven't paid myself still this year. So I've been in business a year and I haven't paid myself at all. So I plan on paying myself sometime next year. Not next year, but sometime next month or in June. Paying myself maybe $500 a week. I'm good with that. I don't need much, you know. I'm not an expensive liver. You know, I can pay my bills and have a little bit of money in my pocket too with $500 a week, so. I don't know, y'all. We'll see. But we just got the taxes out the way. Now, uh, all I got to do now is if them. But I got to wait till I get my truck so I can get in there and uh, get my logs and uh, get that lined up with 
uh, March 31st because I actually extended it out to April whenever I came home. So I got to backdate my miles so I can be right right on with my miles and I can do my IFTA. So, but I'm going to start adding up my miles and doing all of that. So that way when I get my paperwork, I'll be good to go and just put the numbers in and pay for that. And uh, that will pretty much be everything. Then we pick up the equipment, pay for all the invoices. Uh, I get back with y'all once we go get the truck, y'all. Owner operator stuff never stop. I've been working pretty much every day I've been home. Still been able to, you know, be with the family and stuff like that. But I've been busy too at the same time. Just getting everything situated. Uh, Y'all already know I got my IFTA. I just got my registration too for my trailer. License plates. Uh, I just did seven years on that just in case I do keep the trailer. I, I already got my registration for seven years. So that's good for a long time. And uh, we good, y'all. So... We're gonna be getting ready for Minnesota sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, so uh, pretty much tomorrow's gonna to be a chill day and getting everything ready and together. Uh, I just gotta clean the, the bunk, gotta clean the sleeper up a little bit. I got the cab together, so the cab is good. Just gotta wipe down and everything like that. So, kind of lost myself on the inside. Uh, kind of coming towards the end of my two months, kind of lost myself. Was kind of getting lazy and uh had to get out of that funk so but we back energized and we're going to be out uh i want to say till may 17th come back home may 17th and we are leaving april what's today we are leaving today's the 10th 11th, so, so we are leaving on the 12th so we will pretty much be out like a month a month in like five days or something like that so i'm looking forward to it though y'all so i'll see y'all once we go get this uh truck all right y'all family just dropped me y'all made it to the shop see what they got up in here look like greg and they're working on something but the big girl good to go let's go check it out see what he got going on Look like you working on the hood. Oh man. Look at him, y'all. Working man. <laughs> working man, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come what here, you got? What you got? Get on my camera real quick. Please. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do it, brother. Shoot. Oh, man. What you doing? This is brand new. Yeah, we're doing a little big run. Is this brand new? No, nah, it ain't brand no, new. You no. putting brand new pieces on it. Yeah, new, okay. new top panels and side panel and stuff. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, that's that's a short hood, 379. You 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 extending it out. Making it taller. Like, the it's got the extended hood grill on it. <clears throat> okay. And then the top panels are aftermarket, and they're, they, they're taller so that it's a square hood now instead of sloped down like a, a short hood. Got you, is. got you. Dang. Yeah, man, this would, uh, just went with a regular. Is yeah, that the a triple diamond with three bars in it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, what about the surround? Just factory regular surround. factory. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, man, that look good, man. So is all of this new right here? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you get you got to order that from Peterbilt. Uh, this came from Truck sh Shrouds. Oh, okay, so, yeah. okay, okay. You could do everything pretty much aftermarket. Yeah. It's yep. a lot more cheaper too. A lot. Oh. A lot. <laughs> yeah, man, that look good, man. Yeah. Those top panels, you can only get those from tr truck uh, uh, truck Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Got you. See. What else you got going on? That's uh, it? Let's see your <clears throat> brand new truck over here. Yeah, this the one you, the box truck. Yeah. You taking the old box off of the old box truck and putting it on this one, right? So they reusing their old box? Right. Okay. got the lift gate switched over. Okay. <clears throat> Them rims look good. <laughs> Okay. And it's uh for the people across the street? Yeah. Yep. Got an international? Yep. Okay. 183 miles. Brand new. Wow. This thing's brand spanking new. 
Oh, look at that death box, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't want no problems with that right there. It works perfect. Yeah, right man. Now. <laughs> right now, dude. And uh, this uh, T, what's this? Uh, T8. T, okay, okay, T880. Is it T800? Oh, okay. Yep. This one got a, uh, what's this got in the cat? No, Cummins. Cummins? Yeah. What year is it? It's probably a, I don't know, eight or nine, maybe. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I think it's a nine. Man, I was going to ask you, man, should we tell them what we got going on? Once we do the build, that we uh we, we we got that situation as far as when we got the build in and the three months, should we let them know what's going on and what kind of situation I got, or should we wait? Cause you know they you know they gonna like to see that what's up under they gonna they gonna want to see that once I get that. So yeah, you 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 think we should let them know or just wait? I give them some hints before telling them. Give them some right hints. Away, you know? I think that's enough hints when I say once yeah. we get that, they gonna look up under that. That's a, that's about all I can give y'all, man. We gotta yeah. we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Don't keep me from telling you. Oh <laughs> <today. clears throat> uh, man, you been recording this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. I get on. Let me. Yeah. How far are you up? What you? We I put, see you got the oil. What's that oil cooler housing on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We put the cam in it today and put the top end on it. We got to adjust valves still. But, yeah. But yeah, slow progress. I want to show you somebody on YouTube anyway, man. So we're going to get this invoice paid, y'all. Show y'all what I paid from truck and trailer and what it's like. I Basically, this video right here is just showing everybody what it's like being an owner operator and going home. All the things that we got to do once we get home. It just never stops. It's always it something. Ends. Man, yeah. I done went to Columbus, came back, dropped my equipment off, picked my equipment up, dropped my trailer off, and back office work. It's just a nonstop job. Now we about to get back on the road. So, you know, you got to be able to utilize that time with family and business. You got to be able to juggle it. That's the reason why Greg don't want everybody coming in. Cause you <laughs> so you got to be able to juggle that, man. And a lot of that stuff, once you get a whole bunch of, you know, customer base, man, you got to be able to fill that void and take care of everybody. And then you kind of miss, you know, time at home. So, you know, but yeah, man, there she go. But you, you don't know when you're going to be done with that. You just kind of nah. taking your time with it. Yeah, it's for yeah. when you're slow, don't have, it, yeah. Yeah, don't okay. have anything else to do. Okay, cool. All right, y'all, we in the truck. Let's go get this trailer. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all this invoice at the house because I had already paid for the invoice. So I'm gonna show y'all what we paid for on the trailer. And like I say, it never stops y'all. It's always something to do, but we got everything taken care of with the truck. And I'm gonna actually go over everything once we, uh, once we get this truck. I got so much stuff in here. I gotta get this truck cleaned up. Uh, the weather don't look too good. So I'm trying to figure out. Well, we're gonna get this truck washed too, so. But, we got everything situated. Next time when we come home, I'm actually looking for some new Jacob Jake brakes. We're trying to rebuild and get these pack brakes out because they non-existent, they don't work, they are horrible. So we're gonna actually look for some Jacob Jake brakes and probably just do the shocks on the back and hopefully we don't need to do nothing else. So it's getting to the point to where like, I'm pretty much replaced everything on my truck, y'all. And maintenance is pretty much like it really ain't nothing else for me to do like i really put a lot of time a lot of money into this truck y'all and uh it's been nothing but a great truck for me and i'm blessed to go down this road with this big girl and you know we really turn her you know you know turned her into something great you know she was in some real bad shape when i got her and now she's just in great shape man put that tender love and care behind her so let's go get this trailer y'all hook up to that uh Get her back to the house, take some rest, get some rest, get with the family, and get ready to do this thing again, y'all. So, a little bittersweet this time, man. It's a little bittersweet this time, so. But, let's get her on home, y'all. All right, y'all. Back in action. Let's go. Back in action. We got everything working. It's daytime, though, but. See, we got the bottom rail, top rail, just checked over everything. Everything looking good, so. <sighs> Let's look at these invoices and I'ma close this video out, y'all. We spent $490.53 on the trailer. We had an annual inspection done. We had our lights uh, checked out pretty good. 
uh, the fuel filter, and also the inside of the trailer. They checked over all of that, shaved some stuff down on the walls, make sure everything was good on the patches. So that came to $490. Uh, also, I think I said annual inspection too, so we also had that taken care of too. So that came to $490. Yeah. So let's get to the truck. truck. Had an inspection done, uh, full service. We had our tanks cleaned up with BioClean, so I might go through maybe one or two fuel filters. I grabbed a few of those, replaced the wiper blades, replaced steer shocks. I have four up front and I have two airbags as far as my air rod. Uh, replaced the slack adjusters while I was up there too. Uh, we replaced all four drive. Uh, replaced all four airbags on the drive. Uh, Resecure the mirror brackets. Y'all can also check check that out how uh greg resecured my mirrors he did a great job man it, it's clean it's and it looks good and it's done professionally so y'all can check that out i'm sure it was some type of job he had to do so uh i needed my front diff uh temp gauge changed out we ordered that from tail tech that's just jumping all the way around so we're gonna get that changed when i get back but he did order it just ain't come in yet uh, we had to check the voltage, gauge was reading pretty low, straighten the, the grill bar. One of my grill bars was kind of put out to the side. We placed the wire into the bumper light. Uh, the light, I guess it, the turn signal wasn't working on that. So, uh, sealed top passenger side exhaust clamp, which that was leaking too. We also pretty much redid the whole exhaust system from the down pipe to the wild pipe, which I'll let you guys see that too on the next video. Uh, rewired the city horn and this is all the parts that I had got so so it's plant and then what we had yep so in our grand total was four thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars so four thousand plus four hundred and ninety dollars let's see our all right y'all so our total came to four thousand six hundred and forty four dollars and thirty two cents and that's with truck and trailer. And if you watch my channel, y'all know I take care of my maintenance like no other. I'm I'm A1 with my maintenance. So uh, I wanted to just get all of that stuff done. Now, when we come back next time, we're probably looking to replace my Jake brakes. If Greg can lend us some Jake brakes and uh, maybe replace four shocks in the service. And that's about it. So I'm really just pretty much running through my truck. And, you know, when you're making decent money on the road, you guys... You got to have write-offs. You definitely got to have write-offs. So me is just more or less taking care of my equipment and making sure I can stay on the road, stay running, not have any problems. Because when it comes to shocks, bags, slack adjusters, brake chambers, and stuff like that, that stuff can go at any time. It could put you on the side of the road. So stuff like that, I just pretty much change. So I think that's what I'm going to do next time. I'm going to actually just change all six of my brake chambers and change all four of my... my uh, my my shocks on my drive change all of those and uh get those jake brakes put in if we can land some and uh i should be good to go and get a service done grease job and a dot inspection i'll be good to go so pretty much got everything and then sometime down the line probably rebush the whole truck i don't know y'all but we'll see but that's it on this video y'all just showing you guys you know, that the job never ends when being on or operated when you come home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. If you tuned in to the channel, you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Share the channel out, you guys. I appreciate you guys. It's time to get back on the road. We got all the stuff done on the truck and trailer. So thank you, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Just going to mess my video up, huh? All right, y'all. Peace.